Welcome to Learning Functional JavaScript. This is Section 1, Introduction to Functional Programming. This is Video 1.1, Course Overview. In this video, we will get an overview of the topics and examples covered by this course. Throughout this course, we will look at what functional programming is and how to make use of it with JavaScript. This course will not tell you that everything you know is wrong and that you have to go completely change the way you write code. Functional programming is a technique, a programming paradigm, that can be combined with other techniques with great success. Most examples are centered around an app that I built specifically for this course. It's a text-based choose-your-own-adventure type game about the future and space travel. In this first section, you will get a soft introduction to what functional programming is, along with a definition of some core concepts. In section 2, higher order functions, we will dive into the core building block in functional programming and, as it turns out, JavaScript, namely functions. Pure functions and higher order functions will be dissected in detail. In section 3, we will take a look at using functional programming to tame asynchronous processes. In section 4, we will really get our hands dirty with higher order functions as we dive into partial function application, currying, and function composition. In section 5, we will look at building programs in a functional style and learn about immutable data types. In section 6, we take a look at recursion, a powerful mental model, and core functional technique. In the final section, we will take a look at lazy computations and evaluation of data structures and how they can be used to our benefit. As I mentioned, we will center most examples around an app built for the course. It's rather simple from the end user's perspective as you can see here. There's some text on screen and in every screen you must make a choice. Clicking on a choice shapes your further journey. If you make the right choices, even more choices will be available to you. You'll be awarded badges, and you might even win the whole thing. If you make the wrong ones, well... While this app seems very simplistic, the core of the app contains a rather interesting model. The app is built around what Gary Bernhardt of destroyallsoftware.com calls functional core imperative shell. The core game rules are all implemented in a 100% functional style. This core is then used from a more traditional imperative shell of a Node.js web application implemented using the Express framework. We will not spend much time on the imperative shell, but all the source code is available for your perusal. As an example, consider the choices we're presented with on this screen. Clicking the first option will trigger a call to the functional core to select option number one from the current page. Each screen is called a page in the model. The functional core will generate a set of changes for the current player, what is the new current page, possibly some flags to set, etc. The imperative shell will then update its user object, persist the changes to the database, and render the next page to the user. This design enables us to keep the functional core free of greasy and boring details about databases, state, and rendering, and instead allow us to focus on the pure business rules of the application. When we're through, I'm sure you'll be as excited as I am about this way of writing code. In the next video, we'll get a very high-level overview of what functional programming is and why it's helpful.